Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Souls. Um, if you remember the last time, we just met the giant blacksmith here in Analondo. So, what we're aiming to do here at this particular moment in time is see what what we have out here, and it's basically a path to open a shortcut back to the first bonfire um, near the fire keeper which is um, a good bonfire to rest at since it gives you an assist flask so we still have to deal with these um, what are they some sort of like um man eater they look like the man eaters from demon souls so as you can see this is a gate uh, that leads to some of the giant statues um that were uh, they were blocking our path earlier in and i died to one of them in the one of the previous episodes which was annoying but anyway so there's an item down there and I would like to get it. Of course, we have to fight all these people, and I'm fast forwarding here because I kind of take forever just to lock onto him. As you can see, I'm using my heavy soul arrow, and it pushes him off the ledge, and he dies. Sweet. Yep. So, let's open this door here first, just in case I do die. As you can see, there are the um, giant. Uh, I don't know why you call them, I just, I just call them statues Even though they aren't really statues I guess they are more like the golems Yep Another one of these Manita clones Yeah, that wasn't gonna hit So let's hope we don't fall off this edge so run 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 oh, oh he fell off all right that suits me a titanic chunk i think i can use that to upgrade um something lightning i think or something like my lightning shield i think okay and now we have these annoying guys to take care of and i'm gonna be fast forwarding here as well since it takes forever just to hit them well, it's more because the gate is in the way and I'm trying to be cautious. So I wait for him to retreat back and then I hit him. And I have to do it a couple of times. At least I can use my heavy soul arrows to deal with him. So let's kill this guy. Okay. Only 500? Sheesh. And now the other guy is chasing us. And, um. Am I gonna take care of him too? I decide. Because, um, you might have seen in actually the, um, when I was fast forwarding that I saw an item, uh, sort of. Uh, above um, that area where the um, gate was and it's um, basically the item you can get when you drop down off the window here so I'm gonna go off the window here and see if I can get that item see if it's worth it uh, I'm sure you, you guys might remember in the last episode that I um, didn't want to drop down from here because I didn't know where I'd go and it also didn't look like you could come back up through the window anyway so I can tell there's a treasure ahead so let's leave a message and we take a leap of faith so yeah you couldn't come back up here at least not the way we came down so this is above where the um, giant statue would have been those guys 
you can see the item is there I ain't particularly sure how to get to it there's a small you could probably just fall into it I couldn't really trust it the other thing I didn't know was how would I get out of it I couldn't really see a, an opening to you know um, get out from the area but I take a chance again and just fall into it luckily I didn't fall outside that would have been a pain and we get an annoying item one that really doesn't help or benefit me so here I'm lost I'm wondering where the hell do I go how the hell do I get out of here I'm thinking maybe I can cut through um, this fence somehow but actually there's a gap here so that's all you really need Whee! and we drop down and lose some health for good measure so anyway I'm gonna be heading to the bonfire now the one with the fire keeper I don't think I'm gonna be fighting this giant dude here I'm gonna be running past him Run! Run! And jump! And he's way too slow. And he's backing off. Sweet. So I'm gonna be skipping to the bonfire and then I'm gonna be skipping back uh, to one of the sections around here. Just to show you that I do rest here. That's all. And I'm um, showing me coming back here next to the um, giant blacksmith. We're continuing our journey basically into Analondo into this um, big area up ahead with more of the giant statues the more annoying version of the giant statues if I may add and also one of these um, silver knights here too so this is another big area um, big hall I guess mm, it's all like a main hall isn't it we, you might have remembered from the last episode there was a fog gate at the end of this section so I'm assuming that's going to be a boss fight since we've traveled quite a bit in Anolondo and I'm um, here yeah, I'm just fast forwarding because these guys are still annoying to take care of same okay anyway nothing here so you've got these other giant statues down here and the no annoying thing about these guys is that they can heal and that sounds as annoying as it does Ooh. so our the black eye orb is um functioning is um active okay so maybe we can use it or something how much oh the okay maybe i have to take care of this guy first why? Oh, he looks like he's backing away. Maybe I can. I'm not quite sure where. As you can see, the black eye orb now is um sort of highlighted, so like I can use it now. Whereas previously it would have been um grayed out or darkened, uh, indicating you couldn't use it basically. Haha, <laughs> they're getting in each other's way! Too bad they aren't killing each other. That would have been sweet. Because now the other guy is coming up here. Show. Oh! As you can see, they even look a bit different. And yeah, you. I didn't show it here, but they can indeed kill. Which is annoying as hell. Uh, you, you hear that in the background? That's one of them healing. Oh! That took way more damage than I wanted. I wanted to kill these guys first because I didn't know if I would have to face them in the enemy's world should I invade. So that was a bit annoying. I guess in retrospect, it, I wouldn't have to because it's a, it's a different world. Well, um, and um, well, I didn't know so. But in the end, I figured to 
forget it. The, the dude healed, and that's annoying. So I decide to just go ahead and use the black eye orb and see what happens. So we can invade the world of the firekeeper killer. Invading the world of the guilty. As a spirit of, spirit of vengeance. Sounds awesome. Peculiar doll. Hey, that sounds. Was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of that painting we saw in um in one of the sections here in uh, an Orlando, with all those painting guards, yeah, painting guards. Yeah. So anyway, here we are invading as a blue phantom, I guess. So I guess that's Law Trek up ahead. So Law Trek is the guy that killed the firekeeper. We're sort of we appeared sort of in front of the fog gate. So it's like we're blocking the way to um to the boss, which is kinda of funny. So just scanning, so there are three people here. I can't summon, I can't use my SS flask, which I forgot about. didn't really come all that prepared basically but anyway there are three people here Lothrak is the guy in the gold armor well you'd remember him from before I guess so let's try and it doesn't look like they see me even though I'm walking right in front of them so let's see if we can get a sneak attack on one of them so one dude has a spear the other one has a is that a sword? Looks like it. Let's see how close we can get. I know this may look um, annoying to see, but you know you want to get a a sneak attack if you can, always. Especially if I can use heavy soul arrow. Three, almost three hundred. Okay, now they're all chasing me. I thought you were wiser, but I thought. Is that guy fighting me? It's a terrible pity. Whoa, you as a magician there too. Flittering towards a flame. You better. No? Don't you agree? So we got a magician, a spear dude, and Lotrek who seems pretty fast. take care of the magician first because I and I know how annoying magicians can be they can attack from far which is the annoying thing really I don't know why Lockshack has hush on I can still hear him I think is that hush it looks like hush okay so that guy died and because it changes my lock on effect my whole ruling was screwed up. So that's one down. Always best to keep both of them in view. Come on, let's do this for the firekeeper. She was innocent, man. You didn't need to kill her. Even if it was for humanity. Of course, now my life is very low. And, um, I shouldn't really be using soul arrow. I think I ran. Did I run out of great soul arrow or something? Uh, mm, I must have run out of great soul arrow. Oh, I wouldn't use heavy soul arrow just because of how long it takes, and I still, I still hate that. Though I guess. I guess the other reason is that I'm not really confident of how long uh, that I met, I can remember correctly how long heavy soul arrow takes. If I sort of have a number in mind. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, god damn! No. Yeah, I was just mumbling on about um, yeah, heavy soul arrow just because I don't, I don't really have it down how long it takes. So like a second extra or something. But anyway, so we skipped all that. I re 
uh, return to the um, bonfire. So all you have to do is come back to this area. Well, I, I don't know if you really have to come back to this area. I just assumed, and then I just touched them. Um, I just um, activated the black eye orb again, so that we can invade again, and hopefully this time it'll go better. I know some people out there might not um, care to see um, uh, deaths, uh, deaths. Uh, because, well, it happens. I mean, I, I think people by now know that I'm not, uh, that I don't really care about dying. It happens. It's supposed to happen anyway. Some are, well, most are my own fault. Uh, some are just because you don't know um, the area yet, the environment, so you just die because. Um, and I, I would have skipped the first um, fight, but the fact is that um, uh, the incident where it shows the black eye orb quivering only happens the first time. So after that, it doesn't happen. It just assumes you already know, and well, you just use it. Well. Let's get it over with. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. I didn't realize that the first time. I guess I was too busy fighting, but um, I didn't realize that um, his line was different when you fight him the second time. I didn't realize that. That's pretty. That's pretty sweet. They gave him a different line. As you can see now, I have my three soul arrows on hand. You see, Lockcheck doesn't have a shield, so that's his downfall. Plus, he was ruling backwards and forwards, which doesn't help. So I was contemplating about killing this guy, but you know, I'm already returning, so I just had him be. Lorchak's dead, so we revenged! We got our revenge for the Firekeeper, that was pretty quick as well actually, compared to the first time. So not that bad. Well, I knew what we were up against that time. So we get a Firekeeper soul, a ring of favor and protection, and um, some humanity, sweet. So that firekeeper soul, you don't want to use it if you want the firekeeper to return at um, the firelink shrine. If you use it to enhance your Estus flask, well, you lose the firelink shrine bonfire forever, I think. Uh, so here I'm just checking out the ring of favor and protection. Sounds pretty decent actually. It boosts your HP, stamina, and max equipment load a bit, but it breaks if ever removed. So that's kind of like a it's stuck on you basically. It's actually pretty decent actually. You know, boosting your HP stamina because it boosts three different criteria. It may boost it only a little bit, but it it still boosts gives you three different areas of boost. So anyway, this is near the end of this episode. Uh sorry that it's been like a couple of days since I uploaded. Been busy in the real life. It happens, eh? Uh but anyway. Next episode should be up quicker, maybe tomorrow, but um, here I'm just showing, I'm using some of the souls that I collected to upgrade my lightning spear with my titanite chunk. I think I go to level plus 3, and we're near the end here, so join me next time, see ya!